Hello, my name is Jessica Perkins. And I'm Corinne Perkins. And we are Black History. James Perkins was born a slave on August 22, 1839 in Trenton, North Carolina to 19-year-old Dennis Perkins and 22-year-old Loveny Murrell. He was eventually sold to the Shines family in Selma, Alabama, where he was given the name James Shines. Around the age of 24, James, then a farmer and free man, volunteered to serve in the Union Army during the Civil War. On April 8, 1865, in Selma, Alabama, he enlisted into the 137th United States Colored Infantry Regiment. Private James Perkins served as a United States Colored Troop in Macon, Georgia until his final muster roll on January 15, 1866. Although little is known about his duties during his service at this time, his enlistment papers and muster roll documents acquired from the National Archives in Washington, D.C. tell us that he was discharged as Corporal James Shines. By the early 1870s, James Shines Perkins, following a legal name change, had reunited with his family in Trenton, North Carolina and the family relocated to the Northwest Township of Brunswick County, just outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. On March 28, 1872, he married Lucy Adams Bryant, and over the course of the next 24 years, they welcomed 12 children. James Perkins died on March 1, 1920, and was buried in Leland, North Carolina. He was 80 years old. He was my great, great, great grandfather. And he was my great, great grandfather. Father. On November 13th, the Cameron Art Museum, which was built at the site of one of the last battles of the Civil War, the Battle at Forks Road, unveiled Boundless. Through Boundless, artist and sculptor Stephen Hayes, a professor at Duke University, honors the service of the United States Colored Troops just steps away from the original battle site. Hayes obtained castings of the faces of seven descendants and four United States Colored Troop reenactors. Look closely and you may see a familiar face. My father, Harry Perkins, along with his cousins Terry and Elijah Perkins, were a few of the descendants casted for this very special project. Thank you so much for taking the time out to listen to a little piece of our Black history.